So it is it is it is not a successful model to attack ethnic studies. They, we should just get more ethnic studies classes and get more people in the classes. And the Chicano movement and all the movements, there were always different people participating together. Native Americans, Asian Americans, African Americans, uh, white Americans all participated. For example, the Chicano and Latino movement, especially look over the uh, Puerto Rican. Um, and so we, when we look at this in a broader context, we see the, the idea of allies and people that aren't just allies. Well, Deborah Weber is a good example. Well, when, Somebody who's within the community but who happens to not be of Mexican origin. When, when, the, when, the, when the, the, in the early days, there was, uh, it was really difficult to, for someone to define a Chicano. Because if you went to a Chicano meeting, you'd see such a variety of different origins. So, so it wasn't, it wasn't uh, monolithic at all. I mean, uh, you know, people that were participating were people who were, who were uh, Filipino, people who were Puerto Rican. I mean, you know, it was, it was an open kind of endeavor. We had, a, we had an Italian head of Mecha at Loyola Marymount University because he grew up with Raza <laughs> right, de Barrio. That's, right, you know? that's right. Yeah. That's right. I forgot about him. Yeah. You, boy, talk about a lefty. He was a, he was <laughs> that's a, right. He was a good guy. Really funny. Well, and Grandpa Tony, remember, he used to speak, uh, or at least when he was younger, he spoke some Japanese. Yeah. And there's a long tradition of, uh, because different minorities often live together, the Japanese, when they were agricultural workers. Uh, in the United States, lived by, uh, alongside Mexicans. So you have a lot of stories of, of Mexicans who spoke Japanese, yeah, and Japanese famous, who spoke Mexican. There's a famous World War II story of Gabaldon. Gabaldon, yeah, Guy Gabaldon. It's yeah. uh, From Hell to Eternity, is a movie. I know that story. Oh, he went, you know, you you heard of uh, Sergeant York, right? Sergeant York? Alvin, Alvin York. Right. Well, well Gabaldon, in, during World War II, he approached some Japanese spoke to them because he'd grown up with Japanese, spoke to them, said, hey, you know what? Don't believe all those stories about the Americans. They're not gonna they're not gonna do all that stuff to you. So something like what, a thousand? Over a thousand Over people. Over a surrendered. thousand surrendered to him. Huh? Without firing a shot. Because he had grown up in the community where there were a lot of Japanese, so recently. like my grandfather. And Mario Barrera did a yeah. film and he interviewed yeah. him. But but the thing is that when they made the film they got a white guy to play the role instead and, of the and Mexican from hell American. To yeah. From hell to eternity. Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, that's just one of the many, many situations. The ironies. That we yeah. Face. So, and because the guy's name wasn't Garcia, no one, a lot of Americans don't know that names like Gabaldon are Spanish names. Right. So they didn't know. But that's a lot, so that's an erasure. So again, they're trying to uh, subtract the resources that we have, like our historical resources. Take them away from us. By erasure, I, I teach in communication studies, and I notice that every day, today's news erases yesterday's news. But what do you mean in the context of Well, let's take, let's take a name, like you mentioned the name, by not recognizing names. A common Spanish, now mind you, you know, the. Uh, Spanish is European, white European, right? But common Spanish name is Martin, Martin. And the evidence of that is, that if you're a linguist, you know that just like they have Vaughn in Germany and O apostrophe in other languages, the EZ at the end of a name means son of. Martinez is son of Martin. Well, in terms of erasure, one of the biggest examples that you see is with um, the railroad. When they finished the railroad, oh, they yeah. got together and they took that picture. They moved the, all the, 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 Chinese. the Chinese and the Mexicans that worked in the railroad are not in the picture. They're not at all. What happened to them? They're, they're, they were off to the side. They, they, they pushed them. it to the side. So this very, very famous the union, picture where the two railroads came from right. east to when, the west. Right. When they when they when they joined when they joined the the golden spike picture. Golden spike right. picture. You know that picture. They're not. A, right? They're not a single Chinese or Mexican. They're all white.